sets are so incredible. Tell me about actually building them out and how large they are. Uh, it's a monumental task. Uh, very much the way they would have done it back in 1917. Uh, we had every the weather threw everything at us. We had the same the same issues that they would have had. It was very complicated to do. Extremely complicated to do. I can't tell you how hard it was. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing. It. I haven't seen it for myself, so I'm looking forward to. It. Being a man that actually built it. I mean, when you were there and you had all of these monumental. I guess obstacles. What were you most surprised that you were able to overcome and get them? I got it. I got it. So. The mud. <laughs> Getting moving. One day, I I got stuck in the mud and I couldn't move, and people had to come and get me out. Can you just give me something about the trenches? I find that the trenches are fascinating because they were actually built actually that long, that that long for like a mile, and everything was just perfect. Can you talk about that a little bit? Just well, you know the. But first, first of all, uh, I looked at this film when I looked at it. I looked at it as a dream, and also the art of war. I, I thought that the audience, if we did. The, the, the reality of the war in the way that the war was, it would be too hard. And so I decided that we would take it on as a, uh, uh, a, a task to create something that was, even though it was difficult and it was real, but there was some beauty in it. And, and I think that's the way all of the, uh, all of the soldiers looked at it at some point because they fi had to find some solace in their environment and so they painted they did uh, little art projects and things that to pass the time and you know and we honored them 